okay, I know I'm a simple little girl from the big city of Toronto, but there is so much about this city and how it works that I don't understand. And at the Mike Duffy trial today, sort of this became evident again to me in a number of ways. First of all, we heard from uh, Elian McDonald, who is a former journalist and a, a former chief of staff to Conservative Prime Minister Brian Mulroney, who ended up writing a speech for Mike Duffy. Um, now, Mike Duffy himself is a journalist, uh, a longtime broadcaster, so I would have thought that when he became a senator, he could manage to write his own speeches, but not so apparently. So he got Elian McDonald to write a very good speech for him, for which the taxpayer paid uh, $7,000. And then we heard from a guy um, who runs a lovely man, it seems, who runs uh, Jiffy Photo, which is where Mike Duffy got all his uh, picture framing and mem memorabilia kind of things framed or mounted. And these, these ran up into, I think, more than $1,000. They're mostly pictures of, as they were identified, Mike with X, Mike with Y, and Heather Duffy, his wife. But of course, when this man was questioned by uh, Don Bain, uh, Senator, or suspended Senator Duffy's lawyer, it all gets a different spin. So nothing is as it seems. And finally, the, the last witness we heard from was the son of Jerry Donahue. Jerry Donahue is the old Mike Duffy crony who ran two companies, one of them an insulating concrete form uh, uh, company. Um, th through which, or to which, Senator, then Senator Duffy funneled a good portion of his annual uh, research budget. And the Sun was the operating, one of the operating minds of these, both these two companies had a 40% share, and yet he appeared not to know that his dad was signing checks, his father who didn't have signing authority was signing checks to various people who did work for Mike Duffy. And it makes me incredibly stupid because in this town, everybody's got an angle and you've got to understand the angle before you really understand the story.